Recently, Tesla has been the center of attention in the tech community, especially with the unveiling of their new product. This next generation robot has wowed audiences with its increased walking speed and significant weight reduction. Not to mention the newly added sophisticated fingertip sensors, a true leap in robotic capabilities. In today's video, we delve into the fascinating world of robotics, focusing on the latest advancements in Tesla's second generation bot, and why this one expert sees something huge for the Tesla bot lurking beneath the surface. Elon has said they expect it to be doing useful work in the factory sometime next year, which he meant 2024. And I absolutely believe that. I know Elon says prototypes are easy, production is hard. But when it comes to humanoid robot, the prototype is hard, but the production will be easy. I've always felt, nice. I said, oh yeah, they'll be able to produce it pretty quick. This expert is bringing a wealth of knowledge from founding two robotics companies and his keen observation of industry trends. Join us as experts unravel hidden Easter eggs and delve into the intricate details of this groundbreaking creation. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Tesla Stock News. Let's get started, shall we? Last week, the tech community buzzed with excitement as Tesla unveiled their new bot. This next-gen marvel impressed me with its enhanced walking speed and significant weight reduction. Intriguingly, it now boasts refined hand talent, complete with advanced finger sensors, marking a leap in robotic capabilities. The expert raises interesting points about the bot's weight, previously speculated to be around 125 pounds, and explores the technological feats achieved in reducing it by 10 kilograms. We compare this with other robots in the market, like Boston Dynamics Spot and Digit, to gauge where Tesla stands. Scott's thorough analysis extends to the intricacies of the bot's components, from actuators to battery packs, highlighting the intricate engineering that goes into shaving off weight without compromising functionality. The conversation takes a technical dive as Scott discusses potential areas of weight reduction. He speculates that changes in material, possibly a shift to plastics, and manufacturing optimizations might have played a key role. This change not only impacts the bot's weight, but also its agility and operational efficiency. The question on everyone's mind is, how much does the Tesla bot weigh? Despite a notable 10 kilogram reduction, the exact weight remains a mystery, sparking curiosity among tech enthusiasts. Tesla's approach to robot design isn't just about functionality, it's about scalability and mass production. The second generation bot, sleeker and more refined, seems ready for large-scale manufacturing. The changes aren't just cosmetic, they are strategic. For instance, the bot's pelvis design has been simplified, merging what used to be separate front and back sections into a single piece. This reduction of parts not only lightens the load, but also streamlines production, potentially allowing for rapid, cost-effective manufacturing. The next point of discussion is the bot's improved walking speed, now 30% faster. But what does this increase mean in real terms? The bot's speed hasn't been quantified, leaving us to speculate. The goal, as outlined by Tesla, is to keep the bot's speed under 5 miles per hour, ensuring safety. However, for practical purposes like factory work, a speed of around 3 miles per hour is more than sufficient. Analyzing the bot's speed, it seems to travel at about 1.5 meters per second, just under 2 miles per hour. This is an ideal place for factory environments where efficiency and safety are paramount. The question remains, is the Tesla bot ready for factory use today? While it may currently serve more as a demonstration model, its capabilities suggest it's close to being a practical tool in real-world settings. Initially, Tesla's numbers for the first-generation bot were modest, likely not exceeding two dozen. Surprisingly, this limited number proved sufficient for training purposes, aided significantly by advanced simulation techniques. This contradicts earlier expectations of needing at least 100 bots for effective training. A crucial component in Tesla's robot development is the actuators, essential for movement. These sophisticated parts, pivotal to the bot's functionality, are expected to be ready for mass production around November. While Tesla has ample supplies of other components like batteries and FSD chips, the actuators are the key focus for scaling production. Looking ahead, we anticipate seeing a gradual increase in production numbers. Initially, several dozen bots might be deployed in various locations for testing and training. As the production process continues, we expect a significant ramp up in numbers. By the end of next year, it's feasible that hundreds of these robots could be produced, contingent on the design's finalization and effectiveness. Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, has indicated that these bots could be performing useful work in factories as early as next year. While cautious in his predictions during earnings calls, the potential for these robots to become operational by mid-next year is high. 
The challenge of transitioning from prototype to mass production, often a daunting task in robotics, seems surmountable for Tesla's humanoid robot. A notable aspect of the robot's design is its focus on safety and compliance, particularly in a factory setting. For instance, the earlier concerns about pinch and poke hazards have been addressed. Modifications like elbow guards and potential fabric coverings for more delicate areas reflect Tesla's commitment to creating a robot that can safely work alongside humans. In terms of design improvements, we've observed significant refinements. The actuators are now positioned to allow a more compact wrist design, enhancing the robot's dexterity and ability to access tight spaces. The hands have been completely redesigned and equipped with new sensors for improved functionality. Even the pelvis, while kinematically unchanged, has a new design that contributes to a more compact and efficient form. These advancements are not just aesthetic, but functional. The robot now exhibits a more natural walking gait, thanks to improvements in foot and hip mechanics. This heel-to-toe movement has resulted in a 30% improvement in the robot's walking speed, a testament to Tesla's commitment to continuous improvement. One notable change in the second-gen bot is the shoulders design. The original servo axis for the shoulders was horizontal, but now there's a subtle eight-degree angle improving the robot's range of motion and avoiding issues like the polar singularity. This adjustment, although seemingly minor, significantly enhances the robot's functionality. The elbow mechanism has also undergone intriguing changes. The presence of black fabric in the interior part of the elbow in the new model raises questions about what it conceals. It seems that the elbow mechanism remains the same, but its packaging has been altered for practical reasons, possibly to accommodate cabling or cooling needs. In our detailed analysis, it's clear that these design tweaks are more than cosmetic. They enhance the robot's operational efficiency and safety. The elbow, once a potential hazard with protrusions, is now neatly covered with hard plastic and fabric, making it safer and more streamlined. When it comes to power sources, the robot's design may have been altered to accommodate a different battery arrangement. The speculation is whether Tesla has switched from using 2170 cells to the larger 4680 cells, However, considering the current supply and energy density factors, it's more likely that the robot still utilizes the 2170 cells, perhaps reorganized for better efficiency. Cooling mechanisms have also been a topic of discussion. While fans are a known component, there's speculation about the use of liquid cooling systems to maintain optimal temperatures for the robot's internal electronics. Another interesting observation is the change in the robot's tethering system. The attachment points have moved from the head to the shoulder area, distributing the weight more evenly and avoiding stress on the neck actuators. This change reflects thoughtful engineering to ensure the robot's durability and functionality. A recent clip reveals three Optimus models in various stages of assembly, a discovery initially pointed out by Claudia Moe from John's channel. This surprising revelation indicates the rapid progression in Tesla's robot development. A focal point of curiosity has been the emergency off button, traditionally located behind the robot's neck. However, recent footage shows no visible EOP button, leading to speculation about its new location. Upon closer examination, what appears to be a red button is noticed at the lower back of the robot, an unusual placement for such a crucial feature. Moving on, we delve into the robot's energy efficiency and longevity. There's been skepticism about whether the bots could operate for a full eight hour shift on a single charge. Pushing back against this doubt, it's essential to remember that Tesla's 2170 batteries, commonly found in laptops, are incredibly efficient. A laptop can run for hours on a single battery, despite managing numerous processes and displaying visuals. Tesla's full self-driving system is even more optimized, suggesting that the Optimus bot could potentially operate efficiently for extended periods. The Optimus battery pack is estimated to be 1-30 to the size of a Model Y, yet it packs enough power to propel a Model Y for 10 miles at highway speeds. Further demonstrating the bot's power efficiency, consider the actuator that lifted a half-ton grand piano in a demonstration. Lifting such a heavy object requires surprisingly less power than one might assume, indicating that the robot's battery could sustain such activities for an extended duration. Additionally, the possibility of continuous charging while working opens up new avenues for the robot's operational efficiency. Innovations like wireless induction charging, as hinted at by Tesla's chief designer in an interview with Jay Leno, could allow the bot to recharge without physically plugging in. This technology, coupled with advancements in inductive and capacitive charging from companies in Quebec, suggests that Optimus could potentially operate around the clock without manual intervention for charging. 
while other humanoid robot companies target operational times ranging from 1.5 to 5 hours. Tesla seems to be aiming for a remarkable 8-hour endurance. This is attributed to Optimus's larger battery pack, highly efficient actuators, and battery management system. In contrast, many other robots have smaller battery capacities, typically less than a kilowatt hour, which limits their operating time. In terms of design, Tesla's Optimus has undergone significant improvements. The robot now features a more flexible toe box and improved sensors in the foot, enhancing its balance and mobility. Another noteworthy development is the inclusion of sensors in the robot's fingertips. Originally, it was uncertain whether these would be necessary, but Tesla has decided to incorporate them, suggesting a high level of tactile sensitivity, possibly enough to read Braille. The advancements extend to the robot's overall speed and responsiveness, particularly in the hands. Previously slower in movement, the latest iteration of Optimus exhibits much quicker hand movements, crucial for operational efficiency in a factory setting. This increase in speed could be due to both mechanical improvements and faster AI decision-making processes. As for production scalability, there's an air of anticipation around Tesla's ability to mass produce these robots. With the actuators now seemingly finalized, Tesla is poised to scale up production significantly. This progress marks a departure from the initial small-scale production, underscoring Tesla's commitment to advancing its robotics technology. The excitement in the robotics community is palpable, especially with the recent demonstration of the sleeker, more refined version of Optimus. This robot not only showcases Tesla's innovative approach to design and functionality, but also sets a new standard for what humanoid robots can achieve. As anticipation builds for AI Day 3, expected in the first quarter of 2024, the robotics community eagerly awaits new demonstrations, with the next one likely to showcase the bot's practical application in a factory setting. This upcoming demo is anticipated to go beyond the impressive capabilities already showcased, such as speed and dexterity, to demonstrate real-world utility. Tesla's Optimus bot, having undergone remarkable improvements, now boasts enhanced walking capabilities and sophisticated fingertip sensors. These features point towards an increased focus on practical application, particularly in industrial settings. The next demonstration is expected to solidify the bot's place in operational environments, moving beyond basic tasks to more complex, real-world applications. Looking ahead, there's speculation about the bot's production scale. While many are cautiously optimistic, the rapid progression of Tesla's technology suggests a more aggressive production approach might be underway. The possibility of Tesla scaling up production to meet operational demands in its factories is a topic of much discussion. There's a consensus that Tesla is likely to focus initially on integrating the bot into lower volume production lines like the SNX lines to minimize disruption and maximize learning opportunities. The potential limiting factors in the bot's deployment are being closely examined. While the hardware seems to be advancing well, questions about the AI's readiness and the bot's overall reliability, particularly in sustained operations, are being raised. The focus now seems to be on refining the AI and ensuring the bot's reliability in prolonged tasks without frequent mishaps. Well, that is it for our update on the Tesla bot. Please share your thoughts about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Tesla Stock News.